Hey you guys, it's Angel. I thought I would do something different and um, bring you guys out with me. I've got a couple of errands and I'm hoping that I'll have time to hit up a thrift store. I haven't done that in a long time. And um, yeah, I thought it would be something new. So hang out with me, you guys. Let's go shopping. I know this is a bad angle. Um, it's definitely not a flattering angle, but um, I am filming with my oops, my phone um, since my um, I used to film with a GoPro and uh, the editing system of my GoPro and I think my GoPro camera itself got um, I don't know if it got a virus or it was corrupted in some way or if it was just old you know I mean I've had it for a couple of years so um, I got a new, and I had to get a new computer. That was another thing. I was using an older Mac. Um, it was probably like about six years old and it was still working really well, but then it got that, you know, that beach ball thing. Like it got to where it was like, that was all, you know, that was it. That was all, you know, that was on the screen and it was just, you know, there wasn't anything that my husband could do to fix it. I mean, if there was anybody who could have fixed it, it would have been him. Um, but yeah, even he could have fixed it. So I had to get a new one. And um, it actually was a blessing in disguise because um, I was able to start using my camera. I mean, my phone and... Um, I mean, I sort of forced myself to learn how to use my phone. I mean, it should have been easy, but I'm, I'm always um, the last on the bus to like figure things out. Um, I think it was because I was um, kind of intimidated by iMovie, the editing system, because the GoPro system that I had was so easy and I think I was just intimidated by it. So I have to go, well, let me stop chatting for a second. So I have to go to CVS. I am out of um, my daily face cream and um, I have mask knee. I don't know if you can see the bumpiness on my chin. Um, I've had some serious breakout and of course I couldn't keep my hands, um, you know, in my pocket or something. I you know, you're not supposed to pick at it. Any dermatologist will tell you or, or esthetician will tell you not to pick at your skin, but of course, um, you know, I couldn't not pick at it. So um, it sort of, you know, my skin, my chin got pissed off at me and totally just broke out. So, um, so yeah, so I have to get, I have to get something for that, which I'm gonna do right now. I'm at CVS, so I don't know if they're gonna let me film in there or um, if I'll be, um, you know, brave enough to film in there. But um, let me get my mask on. I double mask now because I can't put a filter in um, this mask that Hisa made for me. Thank you, Hisa. Um, but yeah, I double up because I need, you know, I need a. Um, I need to put a filter because I, I didn't have one in my old mask. And this one has space for a filter, but, um, um, oh, oh, okay. This mask that Hisa made, thank you so much, Hisa. Um, it has space for a filter, but, um, I just haven't put one in there yet. I've just been too lazy, but yes, yeah, so I'm going to mask up and go inside and get my face cream. Let's see. Yeah, it looks like... Uh oh. Mm. Uh oh. Oh, here it is. Here it is. Come on. These are so pretty. Oh, do I need that? I don't. I just want it. <laughs> mm. Just checking to see if there's anything I need. Oh, look at that. 
$4.99. That's a good price. I think. I think it is. I don't know. Y'all tell me. Shopping at CVS. Please remove all bagged items. So I always sanitize my hands before I um, take off my mask, and I get really annoyed when I hear people making fun of other people for driving alone with their mask on, um, you know, like making fun of them. And, you know, if, if a person feels more comfortable wearing a mask when they're driving alone, or, you know, maybe they're picking someone up and they don't want to breathe, you know, their germs into the air. If, you know, they're going to be picking somebody up, maybe they're a Lyft driver, maybe they're an Uber driver. Um, maybe they don't feel comfortable taking their mask off and touching their face until they can get home and wash their hands, you know? But anyway, let me get off my rant. So, um, I tried to bring you, I tried to film while I was shopping, but there was a lot of people in there and I felt kind of shy, but, um, so I just got a couple things. I got, um, so this was the, the, um, the, uh, face cream that I wear every day. I put on every morning. Um, I've been using it for years off and on. Um, I, I get, I, I get this one. There's two versions of it. One without, let me turn this music down. One without, um, the SPF and one with, and for years I used the one, um, without, and I think this is kind of new. Um, but this one has, um, SPF 30 and it's like, it's kind of like the bad, well, to me, it's, it's not a good, um, it's not the good ingredients. Like I prefer mineral, um, mineral sunscreens. Like this one has avabenzone, anything like that zine, oxybenzene, avabenzene or zone. Um, I tend to not like it. It tends to irritate my skin, but this, this does okay. Like, I mean, it has, um, sal acid in it. Anyway, I have acne. I have acne from my mask. And then I got this um, uh, to take off my makeup. I don't wear a whole lot of makeup. I don't wear makeup every day, but I do wear some makeup. And then I got this shampoo for my husband because he likes it. That's the kind he likes. And, um, I don't know if, if, if it's going to come out that my, um, my, uh, um, my clip that I took in the, um, in the entrance way of CVS, but those, uh, like, those like community newspapers and community like magazines um, are a great um, resource for, you know, cutting things out. And um, it's, it's like kind of hit or miss, I have to say. Sometimes you'll find, you know, some good images, but sometimes not. But, um, but yeah, so I picked up a few uh, local papers and it's also a good way to, uh, See what's going on in the community and then of course i've got all these friggin you know coupons i really don't think i really wish cvs would stop giving such big receipts because it's just a waste of paper but anyway so i have to go to costco now and i do actually i have a little bit of time before lunch so um i think i'm gonna hit up uh a thrift store real quick and I'll try to bring you guys in at least if I don't bring you guys in with me I'll show you guys what I got so um so yeah so let's go um yeah I'm gonna try not to chat too much because it may be too distracting while I'm driving but um yeah <laughs> but let's catch up I hope everyone's doing good I'm doing okay um I really needed to get out today because I was feeling a little bit um 
a little bit antsy, like cabin fever-ish, which normally around this time of year, I don't, you know, I don't get that way because the weather is really good. I usually get that way on, I need to figure out a good way to bring you guys with me, like get some kind of, um, some kind of something. Maybe I can use my, um, this thing to prop you guys up. At least, um, you know, yeah, okay. So, um, yeah, I, I don't normally get cabin fever-ish in the spring and fall. I, oh, oh. Yeah, I need to figure out a better, a better way to film. But um, like for you know, take four, take five. I don't really get cabin fever this time of year, so it's really surprising to me that I'm getting cabin fever. It, it's you know probably has a lot to do with you know the whole pandemic situation, you know itself anyway. But I normally get cabin fever in the summertime because it just gets so hot here that it's, you know, really unhealthy to spend a lot of time outdoors. And um, so I'm pretty much hiding from the heat and from the sun, you know, from like the end of June until I want to say September. I mean, it gets into the hundreds easy here. So yeah, and um, I mean, if I were living somewhere else, like at the beach or, um, you know, somewhere where it wasn't so friggin' hot in the summertime, um, I probably wouldn't, you know, get cabin fever at all. I usually get that way when I live um, in a climate that has um, rough winters, or not rough winters, because I've never had a rough winter in my life. I've always lived in the south or, you know, in the tropics, but um, I just mean, um, you know, when it's cold and you just don't want to go outside that much, I get cabin fever, so, so yeah, and I'm thinking about my, my mother-in-law, um, she doesn't speak English, and, um, so she, there, my mother-in-law lives in Canada, in northern Quebec, and, um, her favorite word, or the word she's using all the time, so she doesn't speak English, and she's always saying confiné, like, she lives in a, um, you know, a home for the elderly, and, um, she has her own apartment, but it's like in a facility for people who need a little bit extra help because they're older. And I guess, um, you know, the rules right now are pretty strict about them, you know, leaving. Of course, she got vaccinated recently, her first vaccine. Um, so hopefully, uh, you know, the restrictions for her will ease up a little bit. But um, she's really only allowed one visitor and I don't think she can leave, you know, her home very much because it's just not safe and um she can I think she can leave but if she leaves she has to sign a waiver saying she's you know going to be staying with family and um you know that she can't come back you know until the restrictions are lifted so she's always saying confine confine which basically means confinement and um you know I I can speak French I a little bit I don't understand French as well as I can speak it, but um, I understand enough to know what people are talking about when they're talking. And so um, whenever I ask her how she's doing, you know, that's always the word, you know, she's using like, you know, oh, I'm okay, everything's going well, but I'm confiné. <laughs> I'm confiné. So um, yeah, that's a perfect, it's uh, the perfect word to describe how I've been. Oop. How? Gosh. Sorry, guys. I'll get a better filming system for, um, you know, if this works out and um, I can um, get a video up and it, it, you know, and you guys enjoy it and you want to shop with me once in a while because I do plan to um, get out more and um, go, uh, you know, go to estate sales and um, go to thrift stores like I used to in Dallas. I'll get a better, better filming system, some way to film without having to, um, you know, endanger myself or endanger others because I'm so um, worried about my phone flipping over 
are falling over. So I think there is a Goodwill nearby. I've only been there once, and this was years ago. Over a year ago, not years ago, but over a year ago. There's also a dollar store around here, but I'm not gonna have time to hit the dollar store up today. I need, I really need to get on the, I really need to go to Costco. That was really the only thing that I was supposed to do. I'm supposed to pick up lunch for my husband. So I, you know, and I know he's hungry. So um, I'll try to, um, you know, I'll try to make this quick. So um, yeah, I just need to find parking. And it's cloudy today, you guys, which normally it's, you know, not cloudy here. And there's an old wives tale that um, a friend of mine that lives here told me. And she said that when it gets like this, um, yeah, those people were staring at me. So what? I'm filming in my car, who cares? Um, but anyway, there's an old wives tale that, um, you know, when it gets cloudy, not necessarily cloudy, but overcast like this, that there will be an earthquake. And I'm hoping that that's not the case today, but yeah. So this is, uh, this right here, this one is, um, I don't know where that goes, but I've hiked around um, that one. And then I don't know if you guys can see um, this one. God, where is my, like this, this, this mountain range right here. Um, LA is just over that mountain range. So I thought that would just be interesting to tell you guys. Anyway, I'm gonna get in this thrift store and get out. And hopefully I will not be too shy to film in there and I'll bring you guys uh, along with me. If not, at least I'll show you guys what I got. Okay, so let's head on in there. See if there's anything we can pick up. Mm, look at that. That is such a good price for a pretty mirror. Too bad I don't need a mirror. But I always check out the the frames because it's a good way to um, get cheap frames for your art. Look what I found for $3.99. Oh hell yeah. Hell yeah. I'm getting it, Mama. Found another one. I don't think I'll get it though. Cute though, right? Okay, so I was only in there for about 15 minutes. They really didn't have a whole lot of good stuff. Although the girl in front of me in line, um, man, I probably should have got there. If I got there before her, I would have um, picked up the books that she ended up scoring. But she got a really cool book um, of um, Impressionist art. So... I was really jealous, but I did get a few things and I'll show you guys um, when I get home, but I am kind of in a rush now to get to Costco because it does look like it's gonna, it looks like it might rain here. I don't know, it's been a, it's been a couple months since I've seen rain here in the desert. Um, so I do hope it does rain, but, and I'm not afraid of driving in the rain. I mean, I grew up in Florida, but, um, when it rains here, um, there's a lot of flooding and, um, a lot of, you know, crazy traffic because, you know, desert people are, um, you know, and, um, and rightfully so, but desert people are a little bit scared of the rain 
at least on the road. At least it feels like that to me. But, um, but yeah, so I gotta get to Costco, which is right across the street. Hope you guys like videos like this. This is a little bit weird for me. It's been a while since I, um, filmed, you know, myself, like, you know, face and, um, and, um, bringing you guys places. I really did love, um, vlogging my trips to, um, estate sales when I was in Dallas. Honestly, the estate sales, and I, I know that I always talk about the estate sales in Dallas. I need to, I know I'm, I'm, Hopefully, I, I hope I don't gross you out, but I need to wipe my nose and I don't have a Kleenex. So I'm gonna have to use this, um, <laughs> this little sweater that I keep um, in my car. The guy, um, the guy in the car next to me is like looking because I'm obviously talking to myself. But um, anyway, yeah, as I was saying, I hope, hope, hope that I can start going to estate sales. Um, I kind of just gave up on the estate sales around here because um, I think because this is um, such a retirement community, people don't downsize here. I mean, we've got a lot of like, you know, a lot of older people, more mature people, um, people who've retired. Um, and I think, you know, there are a lot of the people that are from other places that move here, they get rid of all of their good stuff before they come here. So I don't find a lot of, um, you know, ephemera-ish kind of stuff um, or estate sales that have that kind of stuff. There is a lot of like um, Hollywood memorabilia stuff, um, which is great, but I'm not into Hollywood memorabilia ephemera kind of stuff. I'm always looking for, um, I mean, same as you guys, vintage paper, anything that is um, unique, any kind of uh, paper or old photographs that look cool, you know, that'll look cool in my junk journals. And there was a lot of that in Texas. And I think one of the reasons is because um, it's a Delta hub. And so there were a lot of retired um, flight attendants and pilots you know, that lived in that area. And um, so I was able to score a lot of cool um, stuff at these estate sales. Some um, really beautiful um, vintage um, Easter cards, Valentines, books, things like that. So, um, so yeah, but I don't, I don't see a whole lot of that here, um, but Go ahead, I'm not gonna steal your part. Go ahead if you wanna get in there. Mm -hmm. I hate people that are not nice in parking lots. I try to be nice in the parking lots because my husband's one of those people who gets really impatient in a parking lot. <laughs> and, oh, look, look, my luck. Oh, I wanted that parking. Somebody else was gonna tell you, are gonna take it? You're not gonna tip, thank you. That's so nice of you to let me have it. Thank you. I got a good parking, yeah. Okay, so um, so I've got a, a bunch of boring stuff to pick up in Costco. I don't think I'll be filming in there. It's way too crowded and I start um, freaking out about how um, you know close people get to me in my personal space. I mean, even before this pandemic started, I was very sensitive about um, personal space and people being too close to me anyway, just because of my, um, just past trauma <laughs> that I'll tell you guys about one day, but that day is not today. So, um, so yeah, so I will see you guys back at home, back at my desk when I film, um, my haul. It's raining. It's raining, you guys. A little bit of rain. Not much, but but raining, raining enough. I didn't think it was gonna rain, you guys. I really didn't. There was only like a 10% chance of rain today, which, um, you know, like I said, for a tropics girl like me, 10% chance of rain in the tropics definitely means rain, but not in the desert. <laughs> but yeah, I'm giddy. I'm giddy, you guys, because it's raining. You know what that means? That means the air is gonna smell so good all day. 
I never realized how much I love rain until I moved out here where it never rains. And, um, yeah. <laughs> anyway, so I gotta go, um, where am I going now? So I gotta go get lunch for my husband. I think he wanted a hot dog and fries, so I have to go to Wiener Schnitzel. That's what it's called. So much traffic today. You know, this is, um, considered snowbird season because all of the people who live in the north who you know who are rich enough to have um, a second home you know they all come down for the winter but because of the pandemic I think we were expecting um, a smaller season or um, a, a less populated a less um, crowded season this year but I don't know it's looking like all the snowbirds came I mean I don't blame them I hate snow and I hate cold weather and the winters here are beautiful absolutely beautiful if it could be like that all year round you know then life life for me would be perfect um this song is on the radio just now and a funny really embarrassing memory just came to mind um you know that song, that 80s song called Point of No Return? You know, you've taken me to the point of no return. So that's the song that's on the radio right now. And um, I have a really embarrassing memory to that. I thought I would share with you guys since I'm stuck in traffic anyway. Um, my friend Anne and I um, were in the fifth grade talent show at school. And um, for whatever reason, we couldn't use a Madonna song. I'm surprised that I, oh, I'm stuck behind this bus. No, no. Okay, yes, yes, BMW, go, okay. So um, anyway, yeah, so we did our dance to that song because um, we weren't allowed to do a Madonna song. And um, anyway, I had these really cool heels on with Rhinestone, like, yeah, I was in the fifth grade and I was wearing heels and um, I wanted to dance to Madonna. So that should tell you a lot about um, me as a, <laughs> like a, a 10 year old um, fifth grader. But anyway, um, yeah, so I had these shoes on and I have small feet anyway, and I don't even know why my mom bought me these shoes or even thought that it was okay for me to wear them because they were adult heels. like. They were a little bit more than a kitten heel, not exactly a high heel. And um, they were, I wanna say a full size too big for me. I wear a five and a half now. I was probably like a size four and a half, five, you know, at that age. And um, so, um, oh, okay, hold on, I gotta turn. Anyway, I had learned some cheerleading jumps from my sister because, you know, my sister was in the seventh grade and she had tried out for cheerleading. She ended up not making it, but she ended up um, trying out for dance and decided, um, you know, to be a dancer instead of a cheerleader. Oh, there's a lying line for hot dogs. Oh gosh. Um, but anyway, um, I feel like you're gonna figure out where this story is going. So um, we're doing our little dance and I decide to um, show off and do, you know, a cheerleading jump, like a toe touch. And um, yeah, kicked off my, I know which shoe it was, it was my right shoe. It flew and it was in front, like it, it couldn't happen in front of the first graders or in front of, you know, the kindergartners because um, we did our our talent show we had three you know three different shows um you know so that all of the the students in my school could get a chance to see the talent show and um so they did it in grades and of course um when um when that happened it it couldn't have been when um you know when the kindergartners or even you know the third graders were um you know when it was their turn for the talent show to, to watch the talent show it had to be um it had to be like in front of my class and my boyfriend whose name was joey at the time um yeah and i was so excited too and i was so embarrassed 
I was so embarrassed. Yeah, it flew off my foot all the way. It's not like it just like fell off. It flew in the air, you guys. It freaking, you know, and it twirled in the air because I, you know, I did like a toe touch and it flew in the air and it, you know, and I had just, I had to like sort of, so it flew away from me and I sort of had to pretend like, you know, that was part of the show and everybody laughed and um, I had to sort of dance my way to go put my shoe back on. <laughs> yeah. So yeah, so that's my um, fifth grade talent show story. <laughs> I just felt like telling you guys, my car smells like delicious Costco rotisserie chicken and I am so starving and I'm gonna try really hard not to eat any of my husband's fries um, because yeah, um, yeah, I need to lay off the fries, but oh, and I'm gonna try not to get an Oreo cookie milkshake and look, they have, oh my God, so they have strawberry Oreo cookie milkshake and mint Oreo cookie milkshake, oh my gosh. And they have soft serve ice cream here and they have cheese fries and I'm starving. No, I'm gonna be good. I'm gonna be good, you guys. I have been, um, I'm not trying to lose weight, but I, I am a little softer than I'd like to be. And um, I've gained, I've, I gained a lot of weight in um, the summertime. I, I, I usually lose weight in the winter because I'm outside a lot. We're hiking a lot. I'm walking the dogs a lot. And then into spring when it's warm enough to swim in the pool, I, I don't want to say I lose weight because I, weight is just a number. I don't really, that's, I really don't care about the number. I just like feeling healthy and strong and, um, feeling good about my body. But, um, yeah, I gained a lot of weight this summer because, um, there really wasn't much to do. I couldn't join a gym because all the gyms were closed. I, um... I couldn't, um, you know, really do much more than splash around in the pool, which was really warm. Our pool, when it's like 120 degrees every day, your pool gets super warm or my pool gets super warm. And so it's just kind of like, you know, the temperature is 120 and then the pool doesn't cool you down. It's like swimming in um, soup or my best friend and I call it pee pee, you know, like pee pee pool. Cause it is, it's like swimming in pee pee. Like it's warm and like, um, it's just not refreshing at all. So, um, anyway, um, what was I saying? Yeah. So anyway, yeah. So I, I, I lost my train of thought, but I'm, I'm trying really hard to eat healthier. I eat a lot of spinach salads with beans. Um, also because I'm anemic, which I just found out, uh, you know, once again, that I was anemic, um, about two weeks ago. So I'm trying hard to, um, just eat healthier, you know, just eat healthier. I think I need to put my mask on because this guy's gonna come up and ask me what I want. <sighs> Don't get a milkshake. Don't get a milkshake. Hi, can I have an all beef Chicago dog, an all beef plain hot dog, and a large fry, please? All beef Chicago, all beef plain, and a large fry? That's it. Anything to drink? No, thank you. Have okay, thanks. Oh, I was really good, and I did not get. I didn't get a milkshake or an extra fries for me. And you have a wonderful day. Thank you, you too. So I know that it's probably, I know that it's probably overkill to, you know, be wearing a mask through a drive-through. I know some people don't like to do that or don't do that and that's fine. I'm not saying that you should or you shouldn't. People should just do whatever they feel like they need to do. But um, I just do, I think it's, you know, I mean, it's the least I can do is to protect somebody else from my possible germs because I'm not vaccinated yet. I don't know, I, I could be asymptomatic for all I know, I don't know. I just don't wanna be part of the problem. I know that at this point, um, I mean, we're all pretty much just ready to move on and go on. Oops. We're all just um, ready to just move on and go on with our lives and, 
you know, put this freaking plague behind us and um, live a regular life again. I know I am. And um, when I really think about it, I get really sad for us uh, as a, you know, as a people, as a society, as like a, um, as a uh, collective kind of psyche, if that makes any sense, because I feel like this pandemic, um, even for people, you know, like me who are fortunate enough to have, number one, avoided getting sick, let me knock on wood, um, but also who, you know, my husband works from home and he, you know, was able to keep his job. He didn't get, get laid off like a lot of people got laid off or, um, you know, lost family or um, lost income. Um, I, I wonder what, you know, being in this pandemic and having this collective experience like how it will affect us you know long term I mean short term I notice that you know we've become a really angry society you know we, we've got we've gotten really angry at each other and um, you know we're fighting over you know whether or not we should wear masks or you know we were fighting over just in general, you know, I just notice, and I, I'm sure, you know, we've all noticed that we've just become, you know, just very angry and very impatient with each other as people. And I find that really unfortunate. I mean, I'm not gonna go into the politics of it all. I mean, we did, this was, last year was an election year and it was a really nasty election. I hate, I hate, hate, hate um, who I became or how I became inside, how hateful I became towards my fellow citizens and how I participated in, you know, the negativity of it all um, on social media. And, you know, like anybody, I, you know, I was not a nice person. And oh gosh, I'm gonna, I'm gonna end up crashing. But I'm in my neighborhood now and I can go, you know, slow. So I'm, you know, I'm okay. Don't judge me. Um, but yeah, I'm going to, I'm going to figure out a better way to, um, bring you guys with me because this was fun, but I'm almost home now. And, um, let me get off my soapbox and stop talking about how, you know, we should all be nicer, but I do like, I really hope that when we have a little bit of, um, time, to you know get past this pandemic and put it all behind us and and grieve and mourn for you know the people that we lost and the jobs that we lost and some people lost their homes i mean some people lost everything food banks here are um you know they need help and um yeah like see i i start going on and on when i talk about it which is why i don't like to talk about it because it makes me very sad um but I, I just have so much hope that we'll, you know, once we get past it and kind of calm down that, um, you know, we can be kind of nicer to each other. And I hope that, you know, I'm one of those people who um, is also nicer because I was really, especially during the election, I was really like, I was just as nasty on the inside, nasty, like mean, on the inside, I wasn't outwardly mean. I mean, I was probably a little bit passive aggressive online, you know, with people that I lost respect for. Um, but I just hope that, um, you know, and myself included, that we all sort of start kind of appreciating, you know, each other more as people, as citizens, as, you know, brothers and sisters of the world, you know? and um, just start treating each other nicer and, and seeing the humanity in each other and just being nice again, you know? I'm ready for nice, niceness and civility and kindness and, you know, manners at least, at least manners, you know? But anyway, so I'm home now, I gotta go feed my husband and um, I even bought a hot dog for the dogs. So, um, so yeah, so I'll see you guys in a few minutes. It's raining, it's pouring, Izu kiss 
it. Don't eat that. But it's raining, it's raining. Oh my gosh, it smells so good. The rain smells so good. Ooh, it's raining. Yeah, I don't know why, but she barks every time I say the word rain. It's raining, it's raining. Yeah, she doesn't like the word rain. I don't know why. <laughs> it's raining, it's pouring. These are kisses snoring. This one thinks it's time to play. Okay, okay, calm down. Calm down. Relax. Oh, oh man, it's raining. Awesome. Do your peepees, mouse. Good boy. It's time for lunch. Yeah, who's ready for lunch? Lunch time, lunch. Lunch, lunch, lunch. Hey, Bizu. Be Quiet. Thank you. Quiet. Bizu, it's raining. It's raining. Okay, 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 that's enough. I'm sorry. Okay, come on. Come on, guys. Mouse, come on. Come on, good boy. We're not supposed to be here, but, you know, we're here anyway. <laughs> oh, Bizu. Pretty girl, come on. Come, come pretty today. So it was raining, rained a little bit. Now the air smells good and it's breezy and the air smells fresh. Now look at the sky. Is that not a beautiful sky or what? <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. The dogs have been walked. Everybody's been fed. Everyone is happy. Hopefully everyone in this house will be quiet at least long enough for me to, um, finish my video and show you guys what I got. Um, where did I put my, you can't really see, but just excuse my mess. I am trying to clean up, but actually I am going to film, um, a studio like workspace tour kind of thing. Um, today, actually right now, as soon as I'm done, um, with this video, um, just to show you guys really what it really looks like in here. I mean, it is a mess and, you know, but it's my mess and I love it. And so I, I kept thinking, why should I, you know, get it perfect and all cleaned up just to show you guys what it never looks like? Cause it's never clean in here. It's always messy. But anyway, first comes, first comes my haul. Um, I really didn't get a whole lot of stuff. Um, if I had been in there a little bit longer to really look, but I just, I really didn't have that much time. I only had about 20 minutes and um, I think I found some cute stuff, um, all books, but um, you know, what else am I gonna find at a thrift store? Really like the really, really good stuff, at least in my opinion, is at the um, estate sales, like the hoarder house. And I don't mean like the, hoarder house of like, you know, rotten food kind of hoarder. I mean, you know, the people who collect and then don't get rid of anything. But anyway, so I found this, um, sugar stencils. I think this was 50 cents. Um, and, um, it's got, let me open it because it was kind of the last thing that I picked up before I walked out. But, um, it's just like a bunch of cute, I guess it's for, um, you know, cupcake. Yeah. So for like cupcakes and cookies and stuff, but, um, I plan to use them, um, for, um, paintings and, um, maybe even, oops, I dropped one on, um, you know, like distress inks and stuff like that, gelatos or, um, you know, anything, but yeah, so that'll be fun to play with and I'll, uh, I'm sure I'll get a video um, soon doing that. So I got this book called um, Nature Sketchbook. This, I want to say this Goodwill was a little bit pricey. The books were $3.99. I'm sure on certain days they have um, discounts on books, but I don't go there enough to really know. I mean, I think this was only the second time I've ever even been in this thrift store. And they actually, what it looks like to me is they actually do do well with um people looking for cute clothes. I mean, they, they have really cute stuff and I kind of wanted to take a look at the jeans. I really love um, worn in 
jeans and I have a really difficult time finding jeans my size anyway but anyway I just thought this was uh, like a really pretty book to uh, harvest some of these pretty images so yeah mouse mouse mouser and I, I got this book too Egyptian art um I didn't have enough time to flip through it. I'm not even really sure if I'm going to um, cut anything out of it. I mean, this may just be for me to just enjoy the images and read about the history and stuff like that because I really do love Egyptian art. So, um, so yeah, that was a, a good score. And then they had a few, actually they had more than a few National Geographic magazines. National Geographic magazines are really an awesome resource for um images and I mean I I knew just from looking at the cover that I was gonna want to um pick it up so um so yeah I mean look at that look at that that's cool so and then I got this which I showed you guys while I was in there I picked this up this isn't for me I'm gonna be sending this to somebody I know exactly who I'm gonna send this to and I'm super excited that I, I found this. And it's, I mean, it's pretty much untouched, you know? I mean, look at that. That is cute. I, I almost regret that I'm not going to keep it for myself. But I already knew that I was going to be sending it to somebody. So, um, so yeah, this is a Victorian photograph album. I'm going to take the, the little thing off. Um, I'm always on the lookout when I go to like an estate sale or a thrift store. I am always on the lookout for, um, little golden book encyclopedias from like the sixties and the seventies or, um, and like regular encyclopedias or like national geographic, um, specialty books. And, um, what else? There was one more. Oh, and, um, you know, those readers digest, um, uh, hardbound books. I love those because they are always so pretty and it's like if you want to use it as an altered book or um, take out the you know the pages and you know put in your own signatures that you've got like um, a, a ready-made cover that you don't really need to do much to so um, but I didn't see any this time but of course like I said I was only in there for 20 minutes I really didn't have enough time to um, to really look but this um, awesome book that I picked up, um, the Victor book of the opera, and um, I don't know what date this was. Um, oh, look at that. Somebody wrote it. Somebody got it for their birthday in um, 1974, and um, it's got, I mean, wonderful images in here. Wonderful, wonderful images for me. Look at that. Look at this. So this is going to be so much fun to, um, you know, to harvest all this cute stuff. Like all the, look at that. Oh, wait, I'm going to try to find um, a really good one. There was, here we go. Here we go. I mean, look at this. Look at this queen. That's going to be awesome to put in a junk journal and to cut out and send to friends. So that's what I got at the thrift store. Um, thanks so much for hanging out with me, you guys. This was a new kind of um, video. Um, I hope you guys liked it. I'd like to do more um, like this, especially after I get my Reagan vaccine and I can start um, going to um, estate sales and some of the other um, thrift stores that are nearby. There's one in particular in Palm Springs that I I really want to hit up. I've I've seen a lot of um, cool reviews uh, and 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 pictures of um, a thrift store. I don't remember where it's called, but I do know where it is. But anyway, anyway, that's I you know I don't want to get ahead of myself. But anyway, like I said, I hope you guys like videos like this. Let me know if there's anything else you'd like to see. I was feeling kind of shy. I'm still feeling a little bit weird um, about um, doing a, a, a video like this, but um, but it was fun. I mean, because it's been a while since I brought you guys somewhere with me. I mean, it's been years, and um, I like it. I like it. I mean, I feel like I said I feel a little funny um, just because usually the camera is pointed, you know, down here and not 
here, <laughs> you know, but, um, but yeah, it was fun. So yeah, um, I'll definitely make a plan to do that with you guys, but, um, I really don't feel comfortable doing a lot of, um, shopping until I get vaccinated and, um, and yeah, that's, that's when I'm going to feel, um, like, you know, like I can do more stuff like that. So, so anyway, I hope you guys liked this video. I hope you'll give me a like and subscribe if you have not already. Take care of yourself, make lots of art. Um, look for my next video, which will be really soon. I'll be filming it right now. I'm gonna do a studio tour, mess and everything, you know, unapologetic mess. And um, hopefully, you know, you won't judge me too much, but, but anyway, take care of yourself. I'll see you guys really soon. And um, yeah, thanks for hanging out with me. Thanks for watching. Bye, you guys.